Welcome to Dick Recaps. As always, I'm your host, Rich Rick Dick. In addition to providing you with the best comic reviews, Dicked Comics now provides recaps of whole volumes as well, starting with Monstrous. Dick. Monstrous takes place in a world somewhere between steampunk and high fantasy. Magic abounds, but it's very Victorian in aesthetic, complete with dirigibles, that's airships for you less informed, and flamethrower gun things. The world is populated by a few different races. I don't believe they all even made it into this book. The ones we meet in Volume 1, though, are the Ancients, the Humans, the Arcanics, the Cats, and the Gods. Ancients appear as bipedal animals, strong in magic and conviction. Humans are a cherubic bunch, unburdened by the arcane, they fit the modern-day version of humans. However, some humans, known as the Kumai, have witch-like abilities to combat their foes. Oh, and did I mention naturally humans and ancients are at war? Which makes it very awkward for the next group. Arcanics. These are crossbreeds between humans and ancients. They may or may not carry an animal form or possess magic. Micah here, the hero of our story, does possess her own talents that range from opening locks with a word and a ferocity that appears more bestial than human. What she can't handle on her own, the god that has taken up residence in her body makes up the difference. Gods are mostly rumors, and those rumors say they disappeared a long time ago. And finally, we have cats, the record keepers or poets of this land. While normal house cats do exist, we see many more sentient, communicative, even talkative cats in this book. Now that you have a basic lay of the land, here's the rundown of what you're getting with Monstrous. Micah infiltrates a Kumai stronghold in the guise of a prisoner. She breaks out her fellow Arcanics and decimates the place, finding her true target, Yvette, who betrayed her mother long ago. Killing her adversary, Micah recovers a piece of an ancient artifact and accidentally awakens the last remaining god, which embeds itself in Micah's missing arm. Creepy, I know. Mission accomplished, Micah attempts to make it back across the wall to Arcanic and Ancient Territory, with Kippa the Fox, Child Arcanic that escaped from the prison, Master Rin, a cat interested in supporting Micah, and, unbeknownst to her, a contingent of Inquisitrix. Simply put, Kumai special forces with cool names like Needle, Flay, and Hammer. The tentacle god creature that now resides within Micah must figure out its own path as it builds strength, bides time, and extinguishes any threats to Micah's small band of refugees. Micah is betrayed along her path. I won't spoil the by who's, and finds herself unintentionally captured. I won't tell you if she makes it out or not, but I do recommend this book for any odd fantasy fans, steampunks, or nerds that just like some good old magic fights in a comic dominated by females. Marjorie Lou knows the story she's trying to put on the page and keeps your attention well enough to keep the page turning, even if the plot does have a little trouble gaining speed at the beginning. Santa Takeda's art is spot on through the comic, and be sure to pay attention to Professor Tam Tam's lessons at the end of each chapter. Let us know what you think of these recaps. Want to see more? Tell us what trades we should read so you don't have to. Remember to like and share this video, hit subscribe, and check out our social channels to stay up to date on the latest geekery. Feeling bored? Hit up nerdrift.com for reviews and more. I'll see you next time for more Dig.